Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the Feast of Trumpets. The Feast of Trumpets is held on the first day of the seventh month according to Yahweh's calendar. We can read this in Leviticus 23 verse 24, speak to the children of Israel, saying, in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a Sabbath rest, a memorial of blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation, the day represents a call to gather together, or a call to warn of danger, or even to get ready, to go to war, it is also the day that Yahshua will return to earth, followed by the armies of heaven. Revelation 19 verse 11, verse 11, Now I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he who sat on him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. Therefore the Feast of Trumpets represents a warning, that the world as we know it, is about to end with the most horrific and bloodiest wars it has ever seen. Don't worry, Yahweh's people, will be kept in safety during this time, that will end with Yahshua's return, to rule this world. As it was meant to be. Joel prophesied these events. In Joel 2 verse 1 and 2. Verse 1. Blow the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming. For it is at hand. Verse 2. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds, and thick darkness, like the morning clouds spread over the mountains. A people come, great and strong, the like of whom has never been, nor will there, ever be any such after them, even for many successive generations. Yahweh, has allowed man to self-rule. For the past six thousand years under Satan's influence. Yahweh is doing this to find those that will obey our Lord's way despite, the temptations of the world, he will further, allow mankind to spiral down a violent path, until it finds itself on the verge of total extinction, intervening at the last possible moment, as there will be so much disinformation, corruption and control in the world that even the elect could be lost. We can read this in, Matthew, 24, verse 21 verse 21. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. But aren't we told that no man knows the time or hour of Yahshua's return? Yes we are told that. But it is a false teaching, when Yahshua said, no man knows the day or hour. He was making reference to the day of trumpets. Please explain more. If we were not meant to know the approximate time, why then are we given days to count from, when we read the book of Daniel and Revelation? For example, 1260 days, 1290 days and 1335 days from one event to the next. Why does it say in Daniel 12, that the wise, would understand? It can only mean that we are meant to know Daniel's prophecies. This includes those very days to count from, in the same chapter and we are told that they refer to the, end times or the latter days. That is our time now, in Revelation 1 verse 1. We are told that this book is to show God's servants what will come to pass. Therefore the days to count, for example, 42 months, 1260 days, time, times, and half a time, etc are there, to help us be ready. A Hebrew idiom for Feast of Trumpets, is Feast of the Unknown Day and Hour. Jews of that day referred to the Feast of Trumpets as the Feast of the Unknown Day and Hour. Yahshua was simply using this common phrase, Yahshua used that idiom in the Olivet Discourse, in the context of talking about the day of his return to earth from heaven, it even says a few verses before, verse 36 that this gathering will happen with the sound of a great trumpet, in Matthew 24, verse 31. Verse 31. And he will send his angels, with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his elect, from the four winds. From one end of heaven to the other, the reason the Jews referred to this day as the feast of the unknown day and hour, was because you cannot calculate the exact time the first sliver of the new, 
crescent moon became visible. Their system was to wait for, to witnesses of the new moon, before declaring a new month. Yet even with today's technology, we cannot predict with 100% accuracy, at what moment the first day of the new biblical month will begin. Weather, and atmospheric conditions, are just too variable, to allow two sets of human eyes to be able to spot the dim sliver of the new moon. Therefore the one holy day that falls on the first day of the lunar month is the Feast of Trumpets, and is also called, the Feast that no man knows the day and hour of. So Yahshua was not discouraging us from studying prophecy or to know the timing of events in advance at all. He was actually confirming the exact day, of his return as the Feast of Trumpets. Yes, although, the exact time on that day, no one knows. So we can see now that the Feast of Trumpets represents the blowing of trumpets to herald in the day of the Lord. Or when Christ returns. Before we finish, it's interesting to note, that this year's Feast of Trumpets, falls on the 29th of September. Starting the evening before, on the 28th of September 2011. This is exactly when, the Comet Elin, will be directly between Earth and the Sun. Some say, it might block out the sun. We will have to wait and see. However it's interesting that this event coincides with the Feast of Trumpets, and remember that the blowing of trumpets, is also a warning signal. Luke 21 verse 11, tells us that there will be signs from heaven. Verse 11. And there will be great earthquakes in various places, and famines and pestilences, and there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. Wow. As a final note, if we do not keep these precious holy days, we cannot understand God's master plan for the world nor can we know and recognize the warning signs as they come to pass. Till next time, goodbye, and keep your eyes on the heavens.